It was all just a bit of a blur for me. I know I could have died, I know that. In the summer, I was playing football. I went in one time for a header and I headbutted with one of my other football players. Headache started coming, um, so we went to the doctors and the doctors said, look, I think it's concussion. Uh, concussion. A week goes by, we go back and we're just like, oh, look, it's, it's really quite hurting us. And just say, keep taking the antibiotics, it will start to work. So this is a song that's going to be played on the previously silent tonight, so I'm pretty happy with that. So if you listen, if you want to listen, eight till nine, this is going to be on the radio. Developing, I, I, on my own, I couldn't really, I, I played a few chords on the guitar and I was there playing a few folk songs, really depressing folk songs about, like, I don't know, about a tramp. I'm going to sing it tonight. I, I sung, because, um, I, I wrote a song, the first ever song I wrote was a band. It was called The Gent of the Road. It's been released, it's got a YouTube video, it's got so many dislikes. It is so funny, because I think it's funny, and I can guarantee I know who disliked it, I don't really care. <laughs> it's just so funny. But um, yeah, I started off folk, then I went to pop, then we went to the rock stuff. Um, we went for a CT scan and they rushed us straight to Southampton where they realised it was obviously infection. It was all just a bit of a blur for me. Um, it just suddenly went like that from being in the ambulance, um, for, well, from being in Cornwall to being in the car to going to Portsmouth to being in um, this hospital bed and then going to um, getting in this ambulance rushing straight to QA. They took the skull out, put it in my belly to preserve it and um, just carry on the healing process and it was just went on for so much time. Uh, year eight, whole of year eight off of school. And then I had um, had to put the skull back in my head. That got an infection, taking that out, chuck the tit away, had to put, and then try and put titanium in my head. So, but in all in all, it was six operations. <laughs> obviously ill I didn't like having the operation so I put in for a wish well my mum did and we got it back uh, a week after and they said to us pick three wishes pick what you like so I picked Ed Sheeran to meet Ed Sheeran the first one because I loved him and he was great and they came back within a week and said they want to meet us we met the tour manager and he walked up we were walking through backstage and this, all this stuff and he opened the gate for us there's so many security and you just walk through and you're just like this is what i want <laughs> like get them with me <laughs> no, and then you walk through and then there's a, a queue of kids uh it turns out they told us to go to the back of the queue and we were like what's going on like and uh he walks through this dressing room i was like i haven't spoke to him what's, what's going on like you know let me speak to him he goes through the dressing room and they're like go through meet him. And we walk through to his dressing room there's literally i think there's his tour manager there's this other celebrity somewhere here there's um his brother and i can tell because they're all bloody ginger <laughs> so, and we walk through to his um his dressing room and he's there cleaning up and i was like what's he going what's he doing and he says to the tour manager listen don't let him in yet <laughs> he's really untidy in here and i was like i felt quite happy with that i was like he wants to tidy up for me I was like, Go on. And he said to me, I was better singer and songwriter at that age than when he was 14. So that's a bit of, bit of something to think of. We did a little duet of his, um, his song from his album, Tenerife Sea. Your neck, time your shoulders and back. We are surrounded by your own fears and lights and people talk too much. Been having chats with a few people, and they said, "Listen, I think you need a session band behind you, or get into a band." I started looking round, and I put up a poster in Nevada Music, which is now called PMT in Portsmouth. Um, it was me, this guitarist, and a drummer. Didn't even have a bass player to start off with. We started having a jam, and the drummer couldn't do it anymore because I was um, looking to have a session band for my joiners gig, which I'd already booked for my big EP launch. And then we started playing covers at a studio and we started like getting into it and it was really quite cool. Um, so we got we went and played the EP launch, sold the night out at the joiners, um, and it was just the first big proper gig I'd done. Um, and it we played quite a few festivals throughout the summer and we were like, look, this could be a thing now. And we um 
we got to Mayflower Park fireworks, um, we were allowed to, we, we got offered to play that, and we got to headline in front of 15,000 people, and it was a huge event, and um, that was the moment where we all went, right, this could actually be a thing now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, go back and change anything, because the thing is, I'm much happier. If I can get to the top, then I'll be happy. If I can get to playing the joiners every night, I'll be very happy as well. Thank you.